Bad. Ah, here we go. Just unplugged the boat, headed to Leech Lake, got the cameras, the one I'm talking to. Well, here goes nothing. We're just trying to show what it's like. I mean, still in my work clothes. I'm gonna run inside, take a quick shower, hit the road, try to get there at a decent time so we can hit the lake in the morning and start pre-fishing. Got the rods loaded. I know inevitably I forgot something. I'm pretty sure that's how tournament fishermen get so much junk. All this stuff is junk. Rephrase that. I'm pretty sure this is how tournament fishermen get all the stuff they need and don't need. There's always a hot bait that you maybe don't have. Maybe you have 10 of them, but you need to get four more of them. It's kind of part of the fun is to get new baits, to get new, new things. I'm gonna go shower. Get ready, hit the road. I'll give you a quick ta-da. Wait, should I do one of those? Should I do one of those? Okay, I'm gonna jump and then I'm gonna change clothes. Good morning, guys. Day one of pre-fish. We got hotel breakfast, something about hotel breakfast and fishing. Trying to keep your lady figure. No bread, sausage and eggs. It's actually pretty good. How we seem to never eat out on the boat. So gotta have that breakfast. So day one pre-fish, we're gonna go out. Again, this is a lake I'm not super familiar with. Fished it a few times open water, different times of year, not July. That's why I love doing this stuff. So let's go see what we can find. Kind of already told you guys what I think is gonna go on. So I'm rigged up for that. Some power corking, some rigging, jig wraps, hard baits of that sort. So we're off. Just wanted to do a quick morning check-in. Hopefully we can get a few fish in the boat today. See you on the water. All right, we're on the water. Got a one rod I forgot to rig up last night. I'm gonna do it quick before I get out. Ooh, that's the end of day one of pre-fish. Long day. Uh, two fish in the boat. I really honestly didn't even think about getting the camera. It was, uh, I don't know. Frustrating first day, but I didn't see the fish I was hoping to see, but sorry I didn't bring you along. It's really, really hard to remember that when you're having a long day and then you hook up and then you go through the whole thing because you want to take care of these fish. And if you're not ready with the camera, I'm not going to sit here and hold a fish just so you guys can see it. Two fish, two okay fish, not really the fish we're looking for, but it is right now. So we got two more days to put together, so hopefully we can get it done. Beans are is it's been tough, like super tough fishing. So caught a few walleyes that we'd like to have in the tournament, but not consistent anything. Uh, the walleyes are not in numbers like I hoped they would be. We got one more day to figure it out. If not, we're gonna go and give her hell. So don't be crabby. I'm gonna be crabby. You get crabby when you have a bad day of fishing, Dusty. Wipe your camera lens off. Dirty. Yeah. Very dirty. 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 See, did you see that? Dirty. Can now you see I'm that? I'm having a bad day. Now I got freckles that I shouldn't really have. This is going to be one of those tournaments where we know where fish are sliding up and on. We didn't really get on a lot of fish. Uh, we caught some fish that we'd love to have in the tournament, but it's not a consistent thing going on these fish are I don't know Leech Lake is laid flat for a week straight or more which I don't know I, I I haven't fished this lake enough to say this is why this is going on this is why this isn't happening uh, but walleye knowledge says wind helps and we haven't had any so um it'll be interesting you know this is one of those tournaments where you're gonna go out and just use your knowledge to just fish because we don't have like a real solid plan and that's that's just reality sometimes sometimes you go out with a really great plan and it doesn't come together sometimes you go out with a, like what we're going to do tomorrow with somewhat of a plan we know where there are fish we're hoping there's fish the caliber of the tournament that we the caliber of fish that we need for this tournament but overall pre-fish was not good uh and that's we gotta deal with it the tournaments tomorrow we're fishing it whether we had a good pre-fish or not, because uh, we're just gonna go out there and compete the best that we can. It sucks to talk about having a bad day of fishing, a bad three days of fishing. Some people had worse though. So here we are, tournament morning. We've got two different options and we still honestly, this, 
we're just going back and forth. So we've got an option where we, we know we can get five fish. There's the potential for a few bigger fish. We're not sure we can get five bigger fish or do what you fish tournaments for and you go out there and you try to knock out five big fish and it's a bite where you're probably gonna, if you get five or six bites, that's about all you're gonna get. There's a lot of things stacked against you. How many people are gonna be on some of these spots? How are these fish gonna react to all this pressure being in one spot? Because tournament day, everybody's in the best spots and these are all great anglers and and people are gonna find these fish. Someone's gonna get them, hopefully it's us. So we're gonna go out there, we're trying to figure out what option we're taking. We're gonna go out there and give her hell. So that's all we can do. Denny Fox here with AIM Weekend Walleye Series and we're on beautiful Leech Lake in July. What a better time to be here. We're out of the Horseshoe Bay Lodge and Resort. We're uh, about the middle of the lake right now and when we sent the boats out this morning, all 100 of them, they took off in every direction. So we've been hearing a lot of things about the bite out here. I guess we'll see what it pans out to be at the end of the day. So it's gonna be an interesting day out here. I'm not sure how they're fishing but I'm gonna try to get it out of them later when we're on stage. Jig ears once. Oh, if it is, he's coming back for you. Yep, that's you. He came right back at you. See, that's a good fish too. Now he's coming this way. It's coming towards that bait bowl. Yeah, I came back up right there. So they were like between my bobber and straight, like right out in there. Twenty? No, they're probably right in there. I said I think we should go work home the same way we were doing it, I think. I would go back to where those fish were shallow and work that area. Looks like it could be a log or a weed or something. stationary it's not moving at all yeah we landed on them we landed right there stopped and then so I'll go right through all that again they're spooky two walleyes for sure those had two of them for sure walleyes about 40 feet off the corner 35 40 feet out yeah you definitely got potential Got off. That was a big, that was a good fish. But there's more out there. That would have been a definite upgrade. They're still there. 20 feet in front here. There, you're like right at the beginning of them. So I wouldn't say there's none where yours is at, but I'm probably in the middle of them. See, there's one right here and you're right there. So then the bigger one, the biggest one is out there about 60 feet. Well, the only thing you can do is swing for the fences and that's what we did today. And honestly, with the pre-fish we had, we didn't really, we had caught a couple fish that we wanted and that we needed for this tournament. So we had a, an idea of where some of those fish were hanging out. And uh, we ended with 22, four, seven. I, I don't know where that's gonna put us for sure. Or it doesn't really matter at this point. Tournament fishing, if you're out there and you're tournament fishing, because this whole thing, the whole reason we're doing this is to, to bring you guys along on the trials, the, the successes and everything that goes along with tournament fishing. So we went out there, we swung for the fence, we gave it the best, we had our best day of fishing on tournament day. We caught more fish today than we did all the pre-fish. And that's, that, that says something. 
you go out there and, and if you haven't tournament fished and you're rolling your eyes right now because you're you're thinking oh you know he's trying to justify the fact that they had a, a mediocre day well come out here and tournament fish and uh, and understand it's not just fishing it's the things that go along with it the decisions that need to be made the decisions that get made before and pre-fish all that kind of stuff matters everything everything like that matters and so thank you guys for following along on this one this is leech lake aim we will not be going to duluth but our next one will be we have the warrior ride the warrior tournament dave anderson memorial tournament which if you're not in it get in it if you're a warrior boat owner get in that tournament it is one of my favorite tournaments of the entire year I'm guessing we're going to have over 100 boats again this year, and it is an absolute blast. If you are a warrior boat owner, any age, any style, get up there and fish that tournament. You won't regret it. But we will see you there, and then it's after that, it's the AIM Championship, and we'll see you guys there for sure. Both of those Lake of the Woods, my favorite place to be. So let's get going. We just backed the boat in from Leech Lake. Wow, it was one of those bites. You know, you come into a tournament, you have a number in your head that you think it's going to take to cash a check. Uh, Leech Lake notoriously has been 40 plus pounds and uh, first place was that but it was a tough 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 bite. In fact pre-fish was just good enough for us where we thought we had a chance uh, but just bad enough where we thought man it, it could be a, a really bad tournament for us but I fish it with my uncle Bob. Uh, him and I have fished a couple tournaments together now and, and really enjoy each other in the boat. You guys watched this video and saw how we were doing it. Now the last two tournaments, what have we been doing? We've been utilizing these live scopes and putting our baits right on top of these fish and and being very successful at it really. It's, it's, it's just a cool tool to use and a cool technique to fish with and we're getting better and we always talk about how we're, we're learning constantly how to utilize live scope in a way to make it more effective for us. And I, I think we're constantly doing that and, and using it over and over again and finding different ways to utilize it. So that was no different in this tournament. We utilized the live scope. We basically snipe and fish with that. Uh, pretty cool technique, a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, we came out in 20th place in this one. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, it was a very, very, very tough bite with a very tough field of anglers. There was 100 boats in this one. I think there was like, 20 zeros so when you look at that uh, we came out and honestly like i lost the fish to make a big jump and i'm it's hard to swallow but it's fishing it's part of tournament angling you get over it you go to the next one we had that right fish on it didn't come in the boat and uh yeah i mean what do you do that's tournament fishing and then a lot of people that's ups and downs of of living living this life and and we love it and we want to change it and next stop is Lake of the Woods for the AIM Championship for us. We won't be up in Duluth. Good luck to those guys fishing the Duluth area. and uh, But we'll see them all at Lake of the Woods and we're gonna have a good time. But before that, we're stopping at the David A. Anderson Memorial Walleye Shootout. Though it's the week before the championship. So we'll be up there for hopefully up to two weeks. Fishing walleyes on Lake of the Woods, my favorite lake to be on. So we'll have a lot of stuff coming from there. A lot of things coming out. Uh, during that time period. Stay tuned, Fish Addictions is gonna be up at Lake of the Woods for an extended period of time and we look forward to having you guys along.